plastic waste and using too much water. And so the more that fashion can be sustainable and work with factories so that dead stock can be used up and not burned, um, that perhaps is a way that will make fashion even more thrilling in the years to come. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to meet many Armenian designers. Um, I've only been here two days, but I did go and see the Heritage Exhibition two nights ago at the museum. And one of the designers there, Bahan <laughs> Kachaturian. I'm sorry, I did just remember that. Um, I'd actually seen his work before when I was at um, Fashion Week in Kiev in Ukraine. And there's one piece that he has in the exhibition I particularly admired. It's a print which is based on Armenia's fantastic illuminated manuscripts. And that is, it's something wonderful to behold. The colors are iridescent. It's like opening a treasure chest of jewels. And he's actually used the images from the illuminated manus uh, manuscripts and printed them on a long dress. And then on the front, some of the photographs or prints of the saints' heads. I think that some of it is the Last Supper. It's actually embellished with jewels as well. So it kind of re recreates the idea of an illuminated manuscript, but at the same time, it is extremely modern. And I can't wait to go and visit the museum where all the illuminated manuscripts are. I gather it's one of the best in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, Julia, yeah. I'm getting urgent signals from stage left, so I think that would be the last one. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the question is actually maybe we'll be able to do a little here. You have an art designer from a small country like Armenia. What do you have to do to stand out in this world of large fashion conglomerates, a lot of brands, a lot of information? Well, I can't think of a better example of how a young designer from a small country can achieve success than by looking at the rapid career of Demna Jovisalia and Fetron in Paris, for example. Ten years ago, nobody had ever really even heard of Tbilisi. Um, they probably heard of Georgia, but that's... Where was Tbilisi? What was it? And because of that one young man and his brother. Firstly, they completely rocked the fashion world in Paris, and they have also put Tbilisi on the map. So it's not entirely improbable that a designer from Armenia can eventually gain world status. But what is important to remember is that so much of contemporary fashion is as one of our guests just said earlier, seems to be repetition. And after all, when you do condense it down, t-shirts, skirts, jackets, coats, trousers, the actual basic shapes rarely change. It's only what you do with the silhouette or the fabrics or the textiles or the techniques that you use that make it special 